Welcome back, everybody. It is Thursday, of course, so it's time to get back inside of Lynn Mateva's kitchen for another segment of Cooking with Lynn. Today, on the first day of October, Lynn is showing us how to use tons of seasonal squashes and even some pumpkins. Check it out. Hi. Today, I want to help you take the fear out of cooking with winter squash in its whole form. Um, so, of course, you can go to the store and you can buy cut up butternut squash or you can buy canned pumpkin or frozen squash. But right now, it is fresh and available all over Delmarva. So, I'm going to show you some tricks for cooking them in this whole form. So, this is one of my favorite, favorite tricks. What I like to do is I take these, as you see them here, make sure you wash them first because um, washing uh, uh, our fruits and vegetables is always important. And of course, some of these, when I picked them up this morning, still had soil on them from where they came fresh from the farm. Um, so we don't want to eat that either, but it's always important to wash the whole thing, especially when you're going to be cooking it in this form. And then while they were still raw, I took a very, very uh, sharp knife and I pierced them a few times on each side, kind of like you've been taught to do with a potato, because I didn't want the pressure to build up while they're in the oven and have a mess if they uh, decided to, to explode or split open. Um, but I have a spaghetti squash here, a butternut squash, and a regular uh, like sugar pumpkin that you think of for pumpkin pie. And all I did was put some holes in them and I put them in a 350 degree oven for about 45 minutes. Um, you can tell when the skin starts to give, uh, that they're ready to come out and then you, ideally you want to let them cool. Basically I'll start with the spaghetti squash and see they have a very waxy skin all of these squash do so I get very nervous cutting them when they're in their raw form. In the raw form, I feel like it's just dangerous, they're hard to peel and I enjoy this so much better and it was so little work and then what I would do ideally is just come in and scrape out these seeds I can save them in a bowl to clean and do something with later. Again, remember those seeds are so full of good things too. Um, and then the spaghetti squash, if you're not familiar with it, it's the one of these squashes I have here that has kind of a different texture. But what you could actually do is just kind of scrape it out of there and you'll see it's got a very spaghetti-like texture. Some people like to eat these instead of pasta um, with their favorite pasta fixings and toppings. My favorite way to eat this is as a side dish. I just sprinkle a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of Parmesan cheese, and it makes a really nice side. Um, so that's one thing you can do with a spaghetti squash. Butternut squash is very popular in soups and all sorts just roasted. And again, you can just start cutting this open and the seeds are in this bottom bell part, so you can scrape those out for later. But once you peel this flesh off, you've got all this, you've got all this great flesh that you could then chop up to put into salads. You could make soups out of it. You could just eat it as a side. And the pumpkin is the same idea. Um, imagine trying to cut open a pumpkin to carve like this that was so easy and again I'll just scoop out all that stuff and peel it and then I have all this beautiful beautiful bright orange healthy flesh um, and the only one that I decided to cut up raw and I decided to risk my my fingers for oops, is this uh, acorn squash this is another one of my favorite fall squashes I like these because they're small and you can do some really creative things with them. So uh, you could stuff this with say like ground chicken and mushrooms and maybe a little bit of shredded cheese and roast it in the oven and then everybody can kind of scoop their meal out of it and it makes like a neat little vessel for carrying your food. Or you can cut them up like I did and I'm just going to brush these with a little bit of oil and roast them in the oven and then um, Later on, I might even saute these in a pan with a little bit of oil, a sprinkle of maple syrup, and then sprinkle them on top. And we're going to have them in for dinner tonight as a nice side dish. So uh, just a few great ideas you can do to uh, incorporate some of these wonderful winter squash. I did forget to mention that they should store pretty well for about one to three months in your house. If you have a cold, dry location like a basement or a garage that's clean, you can always put them in there and they might last 
lasts as long as six months. So I encourage you to go buy a local farm stand and pick some up today.